Did ye do it, Sir Knight? Did ye take the sword Excalibur and mislay it in yonder cave of doom? Did ye make a blunder so terrible it could bring down our beloved England? Did ye? Did ye? Well, uh, I can meet you. It's just... Silence, slave! For now ye must decide your fate. Shall ye enter the cave of doom, bring back Excalibur, and thereby restore your knightly honor for all time? Or shall ye just chicken out and be a loser geek like always? Would I still get to keep the helmet? Decide! Well, uh... uh... You okay, man? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just this King Arthur guy keeps getting scarier and scarier. Okay, people. Free reading time is over. Everybody take a deep breath. <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> now we're all energized for our multiplication tables. Delivery for room 13. But Hank, I didn't order anything. Well, you know how it is. School board can get kind of behind on these things. 1976? Yep, this stuff was ordered by Mrs. Gunderson, God rest her soul. But it says room 13, so it's all yours. Well, okay. Let's see what we have here, shall we? A bicentennial pencil sharpener, a chart of the presidents ending with Carter, a disco fever crayon and glue set, and look, what's this? <gasps> wow, a brand new Mega 5000 Wobble Free Spirit of 76 kickball with super bounce action. Perfectly balanced, aerodynamically designed. They haven't made these babies since the 80s. What are we waiting for? Let's play ball. I got first hit! Look, only one kid can kick it first. Well, how are we going to figure out who that's going to be? The law of the red dot is ancient and sacred to all kids. Its decision can never be broken. Yeah, yeah, just give me the helmet. Ready, set, open. Oh. I won! I won, I won! I got the red dot! Gus gets first kick? He's the worst kicker on the playground. What a waste. Okay, Gus, first kick of a brand new ball. Make a count. Oh. I'll try. Okay, everybody, move in! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yeah, you did it, big shot. You kicked our new ball over the fence. Oops. Like, look what your little friend did now, TJ. The first good ball we've had in years, and he goes and kicks it over the fence. Yeah. Hey, come on, it's no big deal. Gus kicked it over, and he'll go get it back. Won't you, Gus? Well, uh, gee, I don't know. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. It looks kind of scary. Come on, Gus, it's no big deal. Sure, it's just a yard. That's just what they want you to believe. What are you talking about, Butch? That yard over there, that's no regular yard. Hundreds of balls have been kicked into it. Maybe thousands. Kickballs, baseballs, footballs, even a crazy ball or two. But not one of them's ever been seen again. That's why they call it the Yard of No Return. <gasps> yard of No Return? Oh, come on. What a bunch of hooey. Hooey? That's what little Jimmy Kratmer thought, too. Little Jimmy Kratmer? It all happened a long, long time ago. It was the big game of 94, and Jimmy was up to kick. Now, normally, Jimmy wasn't much of a kicker, but this day was different. Jimmy kicked that ball hard, and he kicked it right over the fence. Kids tried to warn him. Don't do it, Jimmy! But he didn't listen, and they never saw little Jimmy Kratmer again. Some kids think he was sucked into another dimension. Others say he was captured by the flesh-eating alien who lives there. Me? I don't even want to think about it. Good job, Gus. Yeah, kicking our ball into the yard of no return. Now it's lost forever. But, but, but... And so the lost city of Atlantis was lost forever, although we're at a loss as to why. Another famous ocean legend is the story of Amelia Earhart, who was lost over the Pacific, which was quite a loss to aviation, for she was lost, lost, lost. lost. No return. Borrow pencil, Gus. I lost mine. Hey, maybe Gus kicked it over the fence, too. <laughs> See you later, ball loser. Yeah, you'd lose your head if it wasn't attached to a loser. Come on, Gus, don't listen to them. It was an accident. It could happen to anybody. But it didn't. It happened to me. Stuff like this always happens to me. Not always, Gus. Usually, but not always. Look, I might as well face it. For the rest of my life, I'm going to be known as the kid who lost the best ball we ever had and was too chicken to go get it. I'm nothing but a waste of skin. See you later, guys. I'm going home. If I don't get lost on the way. Oops. <laughs> Went the wrong way. Ball loser! Look what your little friend did now, you TJ. your head if it wasn't attached to a loser. The yard of no return. No return. No return. Angela Garcia, valedictorian. Tom.
Thomas Germain, class president. Gus Griswold, ball loser! So, Mr. Griswold, you're interested in our bank teller position. Well, everything looks in order. Wait, it says here you lost a ball back in fourth grade. Next! Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Griswold, is it? Yes. Well, you've been a good person. There's no big sins. There's just one thing, though. You, um, you lost that ball back in fourth grade and were too chicken to go get it. So... It's just a dream. That's it. Tomorrow after school, I'm getting that ball. I have nothing to fear but fear itself. Ah! Are you sure you want to do this, Gus? It's the only way. Okay, man. But if you get in trouble, just yank on the rope three times and we'll pull you back. Right. In case of emergency, we'll be at radio contact at all times. Roger. Remember, you're going for the good ball and the good ball only. Gotcha. Okay, Gus. Anything you want to say before you go? Just one thing. Don't let me do it! I'm too young to die! I don't even shave yet! Come on, man. Get a hold of yourself. Okay. Okay. You guys are right. I'm going over the top. Good luck, mon ami. There goes one brave kid. He has to be brave to wear that ensemble. Okay, I'm just gonna let myself over real slowly and... Ah! Gus, are you okay, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Can you see anything? I'm in a strange world. Things are different here. Different, but... Ah! Gus? Gus? It's okay, I'm all right. It's some weird statue. It could be a man or... Or something else. Something not human at all. I'm going on. <gasps> this place gets weirder and weirder. Who lives here? I pray I never find out. Any sign of the ball, Gus? None yet. In fact, no. No, wait a minute. I think I see it. Yes, I do. There it is. The ball. <laughs> I'm going up to it. I'm grabbing the ball. I've got it. I'm turning around and I'm... Ah! Gus, Gus, are you okay? No, no! Please don't hurt me! I'm just a kid! Don't eat my flesh! I'm too young to die! Too young to... Ah! Pull back! Pull back! No! Quick, turn me on! I'm going over! TJ, don't do it! That yard will take you too! Look, all this time we've been picking on Gus for kicking our ball over the fence. Well, now we're the ones who lost something in the yard of no return. Only this time it's Gus, and I say we gotta get him back! TJ's right! Let's go get our friend! Wait, there's no way we can all climb over that fence. Yeah, we only got one rope. Okay, then. To the front door. Hello, children. May I help you? But, but, you're not a flesh-eating alien. No, just a harmless old lady. Name's Dottie, Dottie Deidre. My friends call me Dot. But if you're not an alien... Then why are you wearing those clothes? Oh, you mean my bug spraying outfit? I wear it when I spray my exotic plants in the backyard. Keeps the lungs clean, if you know what I mean. Okay, Dottie, if that really is your name, what have you done with our friend? Your friend? Oh, you must mean Gussie. Gussie! Your little friends are here! Hey, guys! Gus, what are you doing? And cookies! Dottie made them. She uses twice the morsels. And look! The ball! But what about the Art of No Return? Yard of No Return? <laughs> Oh, you kids slay me! <laughs> Miss Dater, we owe you an apology. Yeah, we thought you were a flesh-eating alien. No offense. All none taken. Besides, you got your ball back, right? Of course, it would have been a lot easier if you'd just come to the front door and asked for it. Cookies? <laughs> By the way, you kids want the rest of them? More cookies? No, I couldn't possibly. No, I mean balls. I got a million of them. What you talking about, Dottie? All these years, balls have been flying into my yard. Hundreds of them. Kickballs, footballs, even a crazy ball or two. One even cracked my lawn gnome. I didn't know what to do with them, so... Balls! 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 You did it, Gus! Yeah, you didn't just get us one ball, you got us thousands! You're a real hero, man! Gee, thanks, guys! I'm starting to get afraid of heights. I get nosebleeds. No, no, please, no! Ah! Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Hmm? What's that, Nomi? 
Well, yes. Yes, he does remind me of that nice Jimmy Cratner. <laughs>